Hey, I'm Arham, and in this video, we are going to talk about bounce rate. In Google Analytics, visitors who land on your website and leave without engaging with any content or any page is what is considered as a bounce. Bounce rate is the indicator of your website's relevance to a user and the effectiveness of user experience. Imagine if you had to drag yourself off the couch when the doorbell rang and open the door to a visitor who said smilingly, oops, wrong house. That visitor bounced off without taking any further interest in you. So often websites which attract a lot of traffic can suffer from a lower conversion rate. This can be attributed to attracting general audience and not the right targeted audience. This metric tells you that your audience visits your website and leaves instantly. Therefore, it is extremely important to pay attention to bounce rate. A lower bounce rate means your website is more effective in retaining users. Generally, the average bounce rate in the industry is anywhere between 40 to 60%. So bounce rate below 50% is a good sign. And at 40% or below is a love sign. So you can't win them all, right? Bounce rate at 70% or over indicates that the website must rework the content and the strategy. This is the reason it becomes crucial to know where all your traffic is coming from. If your sources are sending traffic quickly, but those are unqualified users for your product, perhaps it is useful to ask, are we targeting the wrong audience? In this way, bounce rate helps you assess and qualify your users. It helps you identify and ask the right questions. So studying and interpreting bounce rate can be a turning point in your marketing campaigns. So pay attention to your bounce rate of the landing pages and various entering pages of your website and ask what is the bounce rate for your ad campaigns. Companies must measure the bounce rate for their core acquisition strategies at a site level for the top entry pages. Bounce rate can help you refine your marketing recipe and help you identify what is not right. So let us know in comments if studying the bounce rate help leveraging more traffic to your website. Give us a like if you found this useful and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. Data Science Dojo. Data science for everyone.